All right, guys. Hey, here for all you. Um, another video here for all the electronic buffs out there now on my channel. Like you know that uh, watch my videos and I watch theirs uh, for you vintage electronic people out here. Thought I'd do this quick video today. This is a early '70s General Electric Portacolor portable television. So I just wanted to go over a brief little thing with this one. Um, I've worked on a lot of these sets, and they seem to. And the last few of them that I've worked on had a similar problem. Now, if you watch Shango. 066's channel he has one of these on there too and uh, so yeah just watch his videos too this one doesn't have the problem his had but it's a similar problem I'm going to show you really quick if you guys ever have any of these and you have this problem what happens was what it was doing was as soon as you turn the power on it would start popping just a few little pops or sometimes it was one pop real loud or sometimes it was like a sound like somebody set off a little thing of firecrackers in there pop 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 and then it would quit and the TV would still work fine. And it would, once it warmed up, didn't do it at all. Just when you first turn that power on. The guy that gave me this TV said he had it to a TV shop. And the guy told him, oh, it's a flyback's bad. It's junk. Uh, I think it was just because they TV shops even 15 years ago didn't really want to mess with old tube type sets like this. And they were quick to just quickly diagnose it. And that's not the issue because the high voltage wasn't even up yet when it does this. It does it as soon as you turn the power on. And uh, so it would take a while for the high voltage to come up. All the tubes would have to, you'd have to have your tubes heat up and all your B plus voltages. Once the fly, uh, once the high voltage would come up and it would start doing that, then I would, come on camera, my camera, I hate this camera. There we go. Once your high voltage comes up and it would start popping, then I would say, yeah, it's a high voltage arc. But that's not the case. This thing was doing it as soon as you turn the power on. And uh, so uh, there was two other sets like this one that was doing the same thing. And it was actually a simple fix. It took me about a week to find it. I did it in the dark. I put power to it. I had the lights off. I looked back here and sometimes you turn it on, it wouldn't do it at all. And other times you turn it on, it would pop once. Or like I said, sometimes it would go pop, 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 you know, real loud. Uh, high voltage, like a loud pop, like you're touching two wires together. Loud snapping. So I'm like, okay, it's something somewhere. And it wasn't until I flipped the television over and then I tried it on the bottom side, guys. I'm going to try to do this one-handed here without doing any damage to anything. And I turned it over like this, plugged it up, turned the power on, and sure enough, I saw blue flashes all around in here as soon as I turned the AC on. It did it like three times. What it is, it was some carbon tracking along the circuit solder connections here between the damper tube and the horizontal output tube here, right in here and up there. Uh, so there was a little bit of carbon tracking, so it was arcing. The AC was arcing across the connections there. So what you want to do is, I had to clean it real well, and you got to be careful. Do not use steel wool or anything like that, because you can get them little metal fibers in there. You won't see them, and then you'll short something else out. I had a little thin, small, uh, stiff wire brush that I gently went over it, and then I cleaned it real good with some alcohol. And then I went over it with my solder uh, iron and re retouched up on all of these solder connections here, and that fixed it. And you couldn't see it with the naked eye. I had to use a magnifying glass, but there was a little, uh, looks like a little brown, blackish streak. And that's where it was jumping, you know, the electricity was jumping across there. It was arcing. So it was a carbon tracking. All three of TVs, this one and the other two that I worked on in the past that had the same problem with that popping noise when you turn on the AC, uh, that's what it was. It was carbon tracking. So, and it happens. I don't know what it is with these GEs, but th that seems to be what was going on. And that's your damper tube, and there's your horizontal output tube. So, yeah, and some years ago, I had to replace this capacitor here. It was a 0.1, like a 1,000 working volts. Yeah, uh, it had popped. It blew open, and yeah, these things are bad about that. I really should change that one, too, but it's working. Uh, the TV is developing another problem I'm going to have to address. Uh, after it gets really good and hot, the vertical starts to want to act up a little bit. Uh, picture starts to want and jump up and down a little bit when it starts really getting good and warm and I've had that problem before with one of these GE portacolors and it was a capacitor back there probably not going to be able to see it and there's a capacitor back there it's a, what they call a red drop a mylar film capacitor it's kind of like that but it's red and it's smaller but it's back there in the vertical circuit and I had one of them I replaced it before and it fixed the problem uh, so these capacitors are kind of getting old and they're they're changing value when they get warmed up. See, that, well, that one's up there. You can't really see it, but it's right up almost against the tube there. That's the vertical output and oscillator tube. So 
that was the problem with that. I'm going to have to fix that. That was something new. It just kind of started doing. So I thought while I had this apart, I would address that real quick. But yeah, now the problem Shingo 066 had with his portacolor was these pots here. Uh, we're arcing in his, and they'll do it. These so far have not done that yet, but it's a good that I watched his video because that's probably something I'm going to want to have to do is carefully take these out one by one and take them apart, clean them, and paint these metal backings on these pots like he did, and uh, that'll address the problems. If you want to know about those, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not even going to do a video on that. You guys watch his channel. Watch his video on his uh, GE Portacolor. He'll explain everything to you. So yeah, they're pretty good little sets. They don't really produce the greatest pictures, but you know, for what it is, pretty good little set. So I just thought I would address that real quick, guys. All right. Thanks for watching.